got nurses, we've got firefighters, we've got teachers, um, and yeah, they, these people are facing a real wage cut. And um, what, better, what, what more? What sector of the, um, the workforce makes a greater contribution to our society? There are very few. So I think it's very important to kind of you know point that out. And um, yeah, it's, it's it's important that we're outside the houses of parliament. It, um, O'Farrell, as, as, a, as a politician, he um, does his utmost to, to line the pockets of the 1%, as well as being part of the 1% himself. Um, as Amy said, um, he's planning to cut 5,000 jobs from the public sector um, and yeah, impose this 2.5% wage cap when inflation is running at about 3.6%. So, um, yeah, thanks a lot, Barry. Um, <laughs> Yeah, and, yeah, um, but, and and at the moment the median um, what is it? Yeah, median house prices are six and a half times the, the, the disposable income of average people. So yeah, it's the ninety nine percent isn't facing um, particularly good circumstances. Um, as well as this this wage cap is is um, planning to privatise um, the Port Botany docks. He wants to um, privatise Sydney Ferries. Um, one of the bidders for this private contract is Serco, the, the corporation that profits off the misery of, um, of asylum seekers who are detained for uh, no other reason but to you know, flee persecution. Um, but I think the, the most important thing with all this is that the 99% are not taking it, they're fighting back. On September 8th, 35,000 public sector workers assembled just down here in the domain. Um, we went, marched all the way past here um, just to say that we, you know, we wouldn't take these, these attacks. And yeah, as a teacher, uh, I'd like to just remind everyone that it's just so important to support the teachers because um, we're, we're um, renegotiating wages that, that the award in December next month. And so in this way, we're, we're the, the first cut off the rank in the um, in the the wages um, dispute. And yeah, we need to really. We're claiming 5% wages over three years, um, in recognition of temporary and casual work. Um, but, you know, the farmer's response has been to, you know, employ typical divide and rule tactics that have been, um, <laughs> yes, that have been, um, yeah, they've been, they're the tactics that have been employed by the ruling class, you know, throughout the ages. And um, he's, he's, he's tried to hive off the TAFE te teachers from the New South Wales system so that they can't fight with us. But we need to encourage them to do what they can to join us. And they've been put over to the federal um, Fair Work Industrial Relations system. Um, so it's, yeah, it's really important that we try to maintain the, the unity we do have. Can you go around um, and, and, and unless we actually do fight that, that kind of those tactics of division. It's only a prelude to you know, further attacks on, on other sectors of the public sector, uh, other sectors of the, the public um, area. Yeah, so on November 2, there were two hour strike, there were two hour stop work um, sessions and, and you know, a lot of meetings um, voted unanimously to support strike action. Um, Unfortunately, we've just heard from the, the Teachers' Federation Conference that the O'Farrell has approached the, the, the union um, officials and, and proposed a, a negotiation and they've temporarily called off industrial action, which is, yeah, is a real shame. Nevertheless, it's, it's, not a, it's not an end to the fight and there are heaps of teachers who are rank and file teachers who are really pissed off with the officials and um, we need to, yeah, um, mobilise as much support as we can to you know, try and take the politics of, of Occupy, the radical politics of Occupy to the, to the teachers and encourage them to um, you know, fight, fight the officials to, to, you know, um, to then fight their fire back. Um, what are the union bosses? What's with them? <laughs> well, we can, we, can, we can fight them as well. Um, yeah. well I think it's important to recognise that um, yeah, Occupy Sydney, we're not the only people who are occupying. Um, yeah, people aren't just occupying squares and parks. Um, it's important to reflect on where, where the majority of people spend most of their time. It's at work. And um, yeah, it's, it's, it's great if we can regain um, control over our public spaces. Um, but the, the pe real democracy that people are crying for in the Occupy movement um, can only be achieved if we you know, um, take control over all aspects of our lives. So um, in, in, in October, 
um, shell, a few shell workers who were um, about to get the, the contracts taken away from them. There were nine, nine shell workers who were um, members of the MUA. They occupied a, a, a tanker, a, I think it was a freighter, for six hours. That was nine, nine um, workers and they, they won their, their contracts back, they won their, their, their jobs back. I think that shows you what, how powerful people are when they can, they can take control over their workplaces. Um, you know, if we could get you know, 10 times that number of teachers or 100 times that number of teachers, then imagine you know, the, 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 level, the heightened level of democracy we could have in our society. And that's what's happening in Spain. The, the, the Occupy movement from the plazas, the indignados have been moving out into the, the schools. Teachers are holding their own general assemblies. Um, and and they're, they're, they're talking about how to regain control over their lives, um, where they spend, spend a lot of their time at, at school. Um, so I think that's the pressing task of Occupy. We've got we to engage with these real struggles that are happening with the, with the rest of the 99% who are um, you know, stuck in the drudgery of work. We need to you know, encourage them to do their, their most to, to, to win over the, the leadership, to, to defy the leadership, to um, you know, take on our foul and strike. And um, that, that's what we need to, I think, yeah, Occupy um, actually see it. We need to um, take on these issues and, and go out to the schools and show our solidarity with those um, teachers. So, yeah, thanks. We may never be defeated. The teachers united. We may never be defeated. The teachers united. We may never be defeated.